Good evening, everyone. It's meteorologist Terry Swales here. And a lot of cold air has settled into the upper Midwest here in the past 24 hours. And we now have a reinforcing shot of that coming in here tonight. That'll keep the winds revved up and the temperatures way below normal as we go through the rest of the week. And our future track here tonight shows where that next Arctic front is located at 9 o'clock this evening. It's just entering our northern counties, just a narrow band of clouds and perhaps a couple flurries along that. By midnight, it is southeast of the Quad Cities, running from Princeton back down towards Galesburg. And then finally, by 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, it has cleared the area. And our skies are also clear. The winds are strong and the temperatures are headed below zero once again. Looks like lows should range from around zero in the south to about minus seven or eight in our far northern counties. And as we go into Thursday then, plenty of sunshine around as the high pressure holds sway, but the temperatures will continue cold and I'm expecting winds to be up there around 25 miles per hour. So that's a rough combination and it looks like we'll only have single digit highs and wind chills all day long below zero in that range of around minus five to minus 15 on the actual wind chills. After that, we get some clouds to come in here on Friday and we'll have our first chance at some light snow moving back into the forecast late in the day. And tonight then, our forecast has sunny skies and blustery conditions, minus two for the low. Some of the wind chills though by morning could be up there around minus 15 to minus 20, especially in our northern counties. And then as we go into tomorrow, sun, wind, and cold temperatures are high of seven, but wind chills all day long below zero at minus five to minus 